Bruce McGarry, three, got it! Flips it out, pick roll, replacement, Gary, three, got it! Got it! Hope you enjoyed our high vee sounds of the first nine games. Well, this is the first show for us for the winter season, Husker basketball. Husker's off to a 7-2 and two start. I know the last two is what's on everybody's mind, but your team did play some really good basketball throughout November. We did, yeah. I, we got off to a good start. It's exactly what we needed to do uh, with the schedule that we had. And the game up at the Pentagon was a phenomenal game for us. High major opponent, a uh, team that came in, two undefeated teams, and you know, really just went out and made a statement in that game. Uh, just, you know, we got to get that confidence back right now, Greg. We did some really good things, as good a first half as we played all year in that game against Minnesota. And we just didn't duplicate the things in the second half that uh, made us successful in the first. So, you know, there's the learning opportunities from every situation that you go through. You know, I know there's a sky is falling in mentality going on right now. We got to keep our guys confident. And, you know, there's a lot of positives uh, that we can take out of that game the other night. They responded very well after uh, uh, the tough Creighton game. And we just need to put a full 40-minute game together. That's what it takes in this league, especially when you go on the road. And that was our first time in a hostile environment. So, you know, plenty of things early on in the season that I've liked, uh, but a lot of things we still need to get better at. Oscar stand at 7-2. and two. We're going to look back at one of the games for November and then the Minnesota recap as we continue on on our Husker basketball show presented by BMO. Welcome back to the Nebraska Basketball Show presented by BMO. We're going to take you back to mid-November. Huskers traveled up to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Pentagon. Great gym to take on Oregon State. And this was a, a Power 5 matchup that you got a chance to go at. Yeah, it's a really cool environment, first first, uh, you know, first of all. And it's a fun game. We had a great crowd up there. Really good play by Rink right there, stepping in the pocket against their aggressive pick-and-roll defense and, and making the extra. But, yeah, just a, it was a phenomenal environment. It was a lot of fun uh, for our guys to go up and play in that gym. And a phenomenal first half. You're down right now 9-4, to four, but you end up up 20 at the break in this game. You really, the last probably 12 minutes of this half were terrific. Well, and, and they hit some tough shots early. Polk's a heck of a player, and he hit three mid-range shots uh, to start that game. And then we really kind of settled down, and I thought made some great defensive plays and started clicking on offense. Great play right here. That's, that's against an aggressive defense uh, where we get the quick throw ahead and try to get the big roll into the rim. Uh, Bryce really had it going. Good, uh, good play right here coming out from Boogie to hit Sam over there. Good job finding the window. And, you know, we just had a lot of confidence in this game, and we really sustained it uh, for, for the majority of this one. It was a fun, uh, you know, fun game to play in, and, and we really had it going. And, and again, it's just something that we got to get back to. We got to get back to having fun, going out there, playing with the swagger, because uh, we did a lot of really good things in this game. Sam with a nice lift for you off the bench here in the first half. Now, you're kind of grabbing control of the game at this point in time. You ended up with 16 assists in this game, and I know that's a category you love to look at of those assists. Yeah, you know, we, we did a really good job early, uh, you know, after a couple, uh, the first couple games, we did a much better job settling down and making simple plays. We had three games, or four games in a row, actually, that we had single-digit turnovers uh, against some pretty good teams and some high-pressure teams. Too many in the second half against Minnesota the other night, but you know, for the most part early, I thought we did a great job taking care of the ball. There's Rank with an offensive rebound and stick back. He ended up with a double-double, 15-13 for you in this game, and then you're up a nine here and about to just really blow this thing open. Yeah, great hustle play there by Joe. I thought we did a great job staying in front of the ball. Joe diving after it, getting the foul. Uh, did a good job getting to the bonus early on in the season. We were excellent getting uh, to the free throw line. The thing I really liked about this game, uh, Greg, is we just pounded them on the glass. And, you know, we, we set the tone early. I think in our first three possessions, we got offensive rebounds on all three of them. And that continued on throughout the game. If we can win the glass, uh, you know, generally have a pretty good chance of winning the game. You out rebounded them 44 31 in this game. Here we are, late first half. And the crowd was really good this day. They, came, they lifted you, I thought, a lot. This I, I agree with that. Yeah, the crowd was, uh, was awesome. It's a very intimate uh, building. And, uh, you know, the acoustics are good. It's, it gets very loud in there. Casey hit a pull up three, and, you know, the roof. Blew off the blew off the place, so you know it's it, it is. It was a fun thing to play, and we'll certainly look to get back up there soon. So here we are, late first half. Bryce Williams, you mentioned him. He ended up with 25 in this game. He's got the ability, doesn't he, to kind of take games over? Yeah, he he really can. He can get it going. He can really heat up. He did it again in, against Minnesota, where he had uh, 17 first half points. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it going the same way in the second. But this game, yeah, he was really good uh, in the first half. Great simple play right there. I, I love to see that. You know, those aren't plays that get on Sports Center, but those are just easy 
easy, simple plays, uh, you know, that get you a bucket. And again, just see the confidence that our guys are playing in and, uh, you know, just having fun out there. We've we got to get back to that right now, Greg. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's easy, and, and maybe you, you didn't do, translate this to Minnesota, but you had the 20 point lead in half. And it was basically kind of an even game in the second half, but you never let them get a run at you. Yeah, yeah, and we actually got that thing up to 30. That, yeah. that was the one thing. I would have loved to see it as we got to 30 to continue that up. Uh, you know, the final score, the margin, I think, was 20, but to get that thing over 30, uh, you know, shows we did a lot of really good things in this game. Mentioned Rink with a double double. Also, Juwan had a double double. How about him coming off the bench for you? Happy with what that is right now? Yeah, you know, obviously, Mr in the first uh, first few games of the season but yeah Juwan you just see the passion the energy that he plays with he gives us such a lift he's such a versatile defender he can guard all five positions on the floor and uh, you know his ability to finish and he's shooting the ball a lot better this year he really worked on that when he uh, was rehabbing his shoulder yeah here he is with a, a put back dunk after the miss from rink uh, again he ends up in this game with 12 points 10 rebounds for you he had 17 offensive rebounds in the game as we play this one out and end up winning this thing 84 to 63 and a really good feel good moment for this team early in the season yeah good to see Mata right there the kid has got he's, he's been really good for us he's gonna he's gonna have to play some minutes just with the size of the guys that we're playing against and good to see him get a basket right there he's working really hard there's a look at some of the final numbers again Bryce led you but Rink and Juwan right behind you and I think for you to be good you need four three or four guys to be in double figures every night, yeah we, we do and that I think was the strength of our team early we we had very balanced scoring you know Bryce obviously had the, had the hot hand in this one but we had a lot of guys in double figures in this game. So with that win, the Huskers went at that point to 5-0 and on the season. When we come back, we'll check out the action from the conference opener for the Big Red, the midweek game against the Gophers. We'll have that for you coming up next. Welcome you back to the Nebraska Basketball Show presented by BMO. The Huskers in the midweek opened up conference play on the road at the barn, another great venue for college basketball. And we wondered how you would bounce back from the Creighton game on Sunday. Well, your team was ready. You had great energy early in this game. Yeah, we, it, we had a couple of really good days of prep heading into this one, and I thought that carried over. Our energy and shoot around was exactly where we needed it. Good job by Casey right there, using him as a screener. They were staying attached to him all night. We had trouble getting him going, uh, but he did get it. guys open a few possessions by setting screens. Uh, I really loved our execution in, in this first half. And, again, Bryce really had it going. Uh, early in this one and our guys found him you know tough shot here but a great job by Jawan keeping that ball alive we got all those in the first half Greg that was a big difference and that was the reason why we had a 15 point lead at the break how about your spacing offensively in this game yeah it, it was really good in, in the first half again the physicality these guys play with great job again by Jawan keeping that ball alive and those are those are plays that we got in the first half they got in the second unfortunately great little pocket pass right there in the single side ball screen uh, by Bryce. Uh, good job taking what they give him. Uh, you know, love this action right here. It's one of my, the best possessions of the first half, just using their pressure against them. That was the thing uh, that we did a really good job of the second half. Obviously, it bothered us a lot more with too many turnovers, uh, but I thought CJ had a really good first half, cutting to the rim, uh, stepping up with confidence, knocking that shot down. Uh, we're going to need him to make those shots. And defensively, we're on point. That was a great rotation right there. Tough little finish uh, by Carrington, but, you know, I, I thought our rotations really were on point in that first half. 15 point lead at the half. Second half, you mentioned earlier that Bryce had a big first half. He got in foul trouble in the second half and you had to sit him some in that second half. Yeah, yeah, and you know, again, I thought we forced it a little bit too much. Obviously he had it going. Uh, we wanted to run some plays for him, but when it wasn't there, I thought we tried to force uh, the issue and you know, we didn't have the same movement and they hit some tough shots. I mean, the end of the shot clock here, they had another one of those when, it was, when we cut that thing back down to four. Uh, but, you know, they give them credit. They, they came out and they, they really played hard. They stuck with it and uh, it ended up stinging us in the end. So here it is. Still a really tight game, 11 minutes to go. One thing that kind of reared its head in this game that hadn't been a problem, turnovers. The turnovers were an issue. Well, 12 of them in the second half. That's where, again, that pressure bothered us. Really good cut by Sam and a good slash by Jawan uh, out of that corner to get the three-point play. You know, still tied uh, right here. 
and again, this kid had just come off the bench and, and stepped up, made a huge shot for him. But yeah, it, it was the turnovers were uh, were a big reason we lost. And here's the other thing, you know, missed block out by Jawan right there, uh, leads to a second chance opportunity, and there was just too many of those in the second half. Thirteen offensive rebounds in the game for the Gophers. They end up shooting 59 percent from the field in the second half, and they were five eleven on threes in the second half. That's 50 percent. Yeah, and that, and that was us in the first half. We shot 59 percent and went out there. You know, I thought we did a good job getting it into the paint. They really tried to take away the three. With, with how they play, and you know, I think we were three for six uh, from the three-point line in the first half, and then second half we were forced to take some late. Tough mid-range jumper there by Jamarcus. You're, it's still very much a game at this point. Four and a half to go. It's a four-point game, but you couldn't get a stop here lately. Yeah, tough again. Tough shot. Really good defense right there by Jawan uh, on that play. But uh, yeah, it was good to see Jamarcus get it going a little bit. He'd been struggling uh, shooting the ball, and, and good to see him knock down some shots. Hopefully, to give him some confidence. Yeah, Jamarcus ends up with 16 in the game for the Huskers. One of his better offensive outputs of the season. So here, down eight again. Just could not get. A stop on them, a couple of fouls late. They made their free throws late too, which thwarted our comeback. Yeah, and then, you know, we get a, a trap there at the end and we just missed the steal. It was just one of those games in the second half. We were just a step slow, a step behind. And again, the physicality and their pressure really bothered us. So here are the Huskers down last minute of this game, a disappointing start to the conference, but it's 1 of 20 in league plan. I think that's probably going to be the message, right? This is a long, long season left in this. Well, we got to learn from the good things that we did in this one and, and build off those. And, you know, the, the tough uh, second half that we had, that those are moments that we need to teach and, and continue to go out there and grow as a group. But, yeah, it's a long season. We've got a lot of games ahead and just got to continue to go out there and fight. So, Huskers dropped their opener in league play 76-65 to 65 to the Gophers. We're back with more of the show coming up next. Welcome back to the Nebraska Basketball Show. Time for this week's Cornhusker Conversation brought to you by Teammates. This week we give you a look at Husker assistant coach Nate Lenzer. There's a level of seriousness, there's a level of focus that I feel I need to have as a coach each and every day. You know, got into coaching at a very early age. I was the head varsity basketball coach at my high school at the age of 21 at uh, Northern University High School. Got an opportunity to join um, Coach Hoiberg at Iowa State, was with him for his last two years, and joined Fred at the with the Bulls. Nate, you know, he's the elder statesman, if you say, in terms of his experience of working with Coach Hoiberg. And when you've worked with someone numerous years, you kind of know how they tick, and he does a good job of helping us all understand, you know, certain nuances, how Coach Hoiberg thinks and how, you know, our system uh, works offensively and defensively as well. We are a first to floor defense. When that ball hits the ground, there is no hesitation. All right? When the ball is loose, we attack it. Coach Nate is someone who I would say, and there's very few I can say this about matches, if not has more competitive fire in him than me. Nate's a caring guy for sure. He cares about winning. You just tell him like this to the emotions he had during the game, you know, the excitement he had for everything, the little details he's focused on in practice and stuff like that. But Coach Nate is a guy for sure that just want the best for everybody on the team, no matter if you're a walk-on, scholarship player, whatever. But, you know, Coach Nate definitely going to put 100% percent anything he do. I would say last June, an intentional culture shift to paying more attention to detail. All those things matter. Each and every night, it's, it's a privilege for our guys and myself to, to represent you know, the end and, and the people of Nebraska. Our play should re reflect that as well. We aren't going to cut corners. We aren't going to shortcut things. We're going to do things the right way. It might be harder. It might be more difficult. Uh, it might be more challenging. Then ultimately, um, the things will start to turn in our favor the way they're, they're meant to be, not only for ourselves, but also for the people that have been supporting this program for so long. I believe in this place. I believe in this school. I believe in hard work, and, and I know that if I continue to take step after step and take things day and day at a time, that this can be a place that, uh, that can really explode, especially on the basketball side, and, and I would love to be a part of that. Nice look at Nate Lenzer, a guy that you've known for quite a while. Yeah, one, one of the best hires that I made when I was at Iowa State. Uh, Nate and I worked together for, I believe it was two years at Iowa State. I hired him actually as a GA. He'd been at Southern Miss with Larry Eustachie for six years. And then he wor uh, went into the video uh, room with me. I brought him to the Bulls, and he was phenomenal. He just his work ethic is, uh, uh, does such a good job of skill development. He worked with Zach Levine and Derek Rose and, and had a lot of really good players 
uh, younger guys as well, Ryan Archidiacono, Antonio Blakeney, those types of guys. And they credit Nate for a lot of the success uh, that they had. And, uh, you know, he was the head coach of the Windy City Bulls uh, up there for a year as well. So he has head coach experience. Uh, you know, one thing I've done with Nate, I've really uh, had him uh, kind of spearhead our defense. Uh, the last couple of years and you know you saw what we did especially last year when we had really good personnel uh, what we're capable of and, and we've shown flashes of that uh, this season as well but you know just a passionate as passionate a guy as you're ever going to find uh, just a great uh, coach does a really good job with relationship building uh, with our players as well so yeah really really happy to have Nate and uh, you know again going back to Iowa State one of the best hires I ever made very good we're back with some final thoughts from the head coach we'll do that next we welcome you back to the Nebraska Basketball Show presented by BMO. Huskers will get back into a non-conference game next Sunday. This will be a tough one at Kansas State. This will wrap up a three-year contract with the Wildcats. They're not ranked, but, boy, they got athletic guys all over the place, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. Good old classic Big 8 battle. Get to go yeah. down to Bramlage and, and play in a really good environment. I, I always thought, uh, you know, the, the – Kansas schools uh, had unbelievable, uh, obviously, Allen Fieldhouse, you know what they have, but, you know, Bramlage, especially coming off an Elite Eight, and they've won a lot of close games this year. They've just found a way to get it done and, and win at the end. Uh, really reloaded, uh, you know, lost a couple huge pieces to last year's team, but, you know, they've got really good players. Tyler Perry is a guy that they brought in who's uh, having a great season, hit some game winners for them, uh, but great opportunity for us to go into a tough environment on the road and, and really help us prepare for the rest of the Big Ten schedule. Great. Well, have a good week. Thank you. Huskers have three non-conference games left to be played before that it's all Big Ten play after the first of the year. My thanks to the entire Husker Vision crew and to you for watching. We'll see you again here next week.